Alright guys and welcome back to Armored Warfare and today I managed to sort out my computer problems. It's lovely. Look at this. I'm on 60 frames per second. I'm on medium graphic settings. Now to a lot of you out there with the high end computers you'd be like, oh, that's nothing. I'm on a billion frames per second on ultra graphics constantly. And I'm like, well, I did play on lowest graphic settings at 20 FPS sometimes with not the best internet and I still managed to, you know, play quite nicely if I may say but enough of that computer problem solved let's get on with the actual gameplay so today I've taken out the typhoon 2 with a friend of mine d 4 k f r r one s yes what a name part of the Catis battalion which is just a battalion for playing around with fun if you guys are interested in joining you can join the discord in the description below and this is not an advertisement that's just in case you guys wanted a fun battalion but anyway Let's go on to the game for a second time. Typhoon 2, tier 6 premium tank destroyer. Now, it's a tank destroyer that's completely different to every other tank destroyer. Well, how is that fizzy? Well, if you've already been paying attention, if you haven't been living under a Dwayne Johnson all the, for this video, you'll see that this tank has a fixed gun. It has a fixed 120mm casemate gun, which is very difficult to play in a game like Armored Warfare. Very fast-paced modern mobile warfare game and then going back to the to the traditional tank destroyer of the the stationary gun in the hull can become quite a problem but 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 this is the big but without a turret this thing has an amazing camouflage rating of 0.3575 or something which is really really good add sabrina on top of that and the the camera rating is just just amazing it is a really, really difficult vehicle to spot. So being a traditional tank destroyer, it can do that. And to make up with its lack of turret, the gun is amazing. The gun is the best tier 6 tank destroyer gun, in my opinion. It has about 337mm of penetration on the AP. Not too bad. Standard damage of 530. Now you may be sitting there going, well, B1 Centauro, duh. That's quite good. That's quick. That's got a turret. That's got a pretty good gun. Well, yeah, but that's stock on this gun. I now have all the damage retrofits, what have you, and it's about 560 damage per AP hit, 570, which is really powerful. On a 6.1 second reload, heck yeah. Uh, I think it's the accuracy is about 0 0.06 degrees spread, not too bad. 2.1 second aiming time amazing as well it is amazing the gun look at that look at the damage we've been doing i'm firing heat by the way at the moment and the heat is about an average of 660 damage per hit which is incredible and this game was just set up for me to do a lot of damage looking at enemy team one vehicle on the enemy team does not like will, will eat the heat rounds that i'm firing at it and that's the 2av every other vehicle is very susceptible to being shot by heat and look at this in four rounds, I've done 2,000, well, three rounds, 2,012 damage. Because it's counting the fox that I accidentally rammed at the beginning of the game. But constant, 647, 671, 631 damage constantly. Now, I didn't actually miss a round this game. I only fired about 11 rounds, but I did a lot of damage. Look at that. 560 through the side of that VFM. This VFM here, I sadly I can't show it to you, but he was sitting there side onto me. So I put another round into him for 596 damage. It was just going my way, this game. I was like, heck yeah. But Typhoon, being the Typhoon, it's a long to medium range. Medium range is pushing it in this vehicle. It's amazing at long range, though. Very, very good long range tank destroyer. It doesn't brawl very well at all. Without that turret and only a 49 degree per second um, hull traverse, although that's quick at close range when you've got a VBL or a Weasel or even a Fox or a BMD or BMP, at close range, they're going to outcircle you. And this vehicle has no armor. 50 millimeters at the front, 35 at the side, 25 at the rear. No armor. And you can see it's just a big box. That's all it is. It's just a big box. So it doesn't take any sort of rounds nicely. There you go. 558 heat round damage through my side. But I returned him 
with 632 through the front of his turret. It just eats vehicles. It, on a 1v1, this tank is brilliant. I love it. It's so much fun, but at the same time, it's got a very specific niche to fill. It's not like an MBT where, you know, you can go medium range, you can go close range, you can cap. You can do all sorts of stuff in them. AFVs, you can circle, you can brawl, you can passive scout, you can aggressive scout. The Typhoon is not like that. The Typhoon only does long to medium range engagements. It doesn't do close range very well. It can't scout. It's not got a very good view range. About 375 meters, I think it was. So it struggles to spot for itself. The gun arc is only 30 degrees spread, so it can't traverse its gun very far. Gun depression, on the other hand, is quite good. 12 degrees. 12 degrees of gun depression allows it to work ridge lines, but yet at the same time, it can only work ridge lines at medium to long range. It can't do close range engagements on ridge lines because it will get swarmed and it will die. Only 1,445 HP. Not very much. Considering that Centauro did 558 to us, that's three shots and we're dead from that one vehicle, let alone he could have done a low roll there. We don't know what retrofits he had on his vehicle. So just in general this thing is a medium to long range brawler and i say brawler i mean sniper sorry mixed up my words there but here we are we're in the cap and the teams are 5-2 we're winning pretty heavily here so i move up a bit more forward and that backfires on me straight away chieftain mark 6 326 through me i'm like ouch that's not good so i just pop smoke and reverse back and i don't need to push up now but as you saw before the 2av that did appear when i fired at him i loaded a sabo around for him easily tore through his lower plate no problem at all dealing with that thing with the sabo but that was the only vehicle that could deflect my ap rounds so i just loaded heat for everything else and it does a metric ass ton of damage the heat rounds here brilliant tank i do like the typhoon but yeah it's the biggest downfall with it is nothing specific with the vehicle it's a very very good tank destroyer it's just got such a specific niche to fill on the team that if it doesn't get the right map, if it doesn't get the right matchup, if it doesn't get the right support or the AFEs, it's going to not work. That's how specific it is. It needs the team to spot for you. It needs to have an open, large map with a lot of cover that it can use. And it just needs to everything to work. The enemy team needs to be able to just not soak up heat rounds. And everything in that game just worked for me. 5,571 damage. Gold star. Master gunner. We got 7 assists. Top damage. Top reputation. But you can see when that niche is filled for the Typhoon. It really, really shines as a tank destroyer. And as always guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.